Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Saturday night. We're in York, and this is the climax of the opening day of the WilliamHill.com UK Championship. We have a superb Scottish derby for you this evening. Please welcome the most successful snooker player in history. Five times a UK champion, seven times a world champion. Here comes the king of the crucible. Here comes Stephen Hendry. <laughs> Stephen, a fantastic reception as always. You've had so many great performances in the UK arena. Do you still get the buzz? Yeah, absolutely. Or else I wouldn't be here. What about taking on uh, Stephen, a fantastic Scottish derby? Yeah, well, I'm the qualifier. I'm the underdog, so nothing to lose. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Hendry. <laughs> what about And please welcome his opponent, one of the nicest guys on the circuit, UK champion here in York back in 2004, winner of four ranking event titles in all. He's on fire, he's Stephen Maguire. <laughs> Stephen, you must have grown up watching this guy. Yeah, he's getting older, yeah. <laughs> but he's still got the touch. No, he's definitely in class. Um, he was always my hero growing up, and um, it's, it'll be good to play him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a great match. Stephen McGuire. Thank you. No more shouting now, please. We've got two games on. Thank you. When you're ready. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First frame, Stephen Hendry to break. Stephen Hendry gets this first round match underway. And believe it or believe it not, his world ranking at the moment is 20th. And his opponent, a man who, well, you could say has been an underachiever over the years, Stephen Maguire, has won this title once. That was back in 2004, and he's world ranked number nine. I suggest, Ken, a big tournament and a big match for both players. Certainly, uh, John. Quite interesting to hear both players' comments before the game. Stephen said he was a slight underdog because he's the qualifier. And, of course, Steve McGuire said he grew up watching Stephen Hendry play and was his hero. So. Both players, Just I'm sure, down a bit, please. really Thank looking you. forward to this match. <laughs> and that's a good safety from Stephen Hendry. Blocked the path down the left-hand side of this table. As you can see, it's quite congested on the right-hand side of the table. Yeah, it's a spot of bother here for Stephen. Maguire, that is. It doesn't look to be a path back to the balk end. Well, as 
he playing a rest on him? Well, it looks like he's going to play the two cushion escape with pace. This is risky. Don't want to catch him too thick. But you want to oh. catch him. The miss. Oh, he might be. Uh, Stephen Maguire for. Has to play sorry, again. Stephen Hendry for. But not from where it was, but from there. This is looking good. Excellent shot. Well executed. A little tap on the table from Stephen Hendry in acknowledgement. Oh, couldn't have played that much better. Excellent escape. And Stephen Hendry may have a chance of a pot. Is that red to the right of the pink? Is he on that into the right hand centre? It's very close. Pretty good. You yeah. couldn't get behind the yellow, so opted for pace and tried to get the cue ball as close to the top cushion as possible. Made a good job of it. fraction thinner than he would have liked that's why the cue ball is run in and out of bulk he'd like to get through to the red that's closest to the right corner but I don't think he can get to the potting angle of that and once again the left hand side of the table as we look looks to be covered and there you see he can't get through to this red near the right corner and if he can't then He's got a little bit of a problem here. Well, there is a red that does pot. That's the one. Well, he was forced into that. There was no real safety shot on and he was forced into playing the pot. So the first chance falls to Stephen Maguire. Yes, and he was quite a long way away from that. Stephen didn't get the, the power he wanted into the cue ball, try and bring it back towards the blue. One. That's one of the differences, John, and you've seen Stephen more than most over the years, but it's just nowadays his long pots. And he's missing that he it was one of his best strengths, getting in off that long pot and making a big break. But certainly his long pot is certainly not the same as it, as it once was. And he gets in around the pink and black. You know, there's nobody better, but just getting in and getting started and that's what's been his Four. Achilles heel over the last few years yeah and a lot of people a lot of people have changed their their style of game if Five. you like by refusing the long pots percentage wise probably not as you say getting them like he used to so don't take them on but he's never stopped Stephen he still plays that attacking game um. 
There's nothing like getting your hand on the table in the first frame and getting used to the pace of the table, get your cue arm going. Eight. So this is a good chance to do all of those things for Stephen Maguire. At the moment, you'd have to say the black's out of commission. But he's got blue, bought colour, and the pink's pretty adjacent. So a decent chance to accumulate quite a few points. Nine. Well, the black must go. Well, it's tight enough. These are not easy. They'll be very accurate with this type of pot. Well, he might have a nice angle here, Johnny, to pot this red and just come off the cushion, a little bit of side and nudge that red just to the right of the black out away. Well, we just got by it, which is second best. Black is on. I'd love to have that black open into both corner pockets. <coughs> but he still has plenty of options. He could just roll through for the red below the black or just leave the white somewhere where it is now for the red. Just to left the black as we look now. Twenty-four. 